Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do my 21 week vlog update for my pregnancy. Um, this much, or this week, I don't really have much to report on. Um, pretty much everything's been mostly the same. I haven't had any of those really horrible pains. The rib pain I haven't had again. The nausea I haven't had again, so that's been really nice. Um, I still have heartburn every now and then. It just depends on what I eat or whatever. Um, but the Tums still work great, so I can't complain there. Um, I still have a little bit of tailbone pain or cramps um, in that area. And my husband's been complaining about that too lately. I just keep telling him it's sympathy pains. Um, so, I mean, it's not really that bad. It's just like a little cramp when I walk and I just... I think I just need to stretch more and exercise more because I haven't really been doing that. Um, I'm pretty exhausted a lot. I mean, when I'm done with work, I'm exhausted. I usually take a nap when I get home or if I go grocery shopping, I'm exhausted. And tomorrow I have to drive all the way to Prump, probably by myself, which is like a two-hour drive from here. And then I have to come back another two hours, so it's going to be like a four-hour trip. Tomorrow, I don't really know how that's going to really pan out, um, but I am going to um, talk with a friend and we're going to start planning the baby shower and stuff. So it is pretty important for me to go. I just hope I can survive without a nap. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. Um, my feet have been doing a lot better now. I think it's because I bought new shoes and they're like two sizes too big, but they were on sale. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. And I'm glad that I did that because my feet have been kind of a little bit bigger or more swollen lately. Especially if I've been um, on my feet all day. So I'm kind of glad that I bought ones that are a little bigger. And they're super comfortable. They have memory foam in them. And that's helped a lot. Now my legs just hurt instead of my feet. Um, speaking of feet, <laughs> everything still smells like feet to me. Like at work, at home. It's just weird. I just have weird feet smell all the time. Um, I almost had a leg cramp like three nights ago. I didn't eat a banana. Speaking of banana, I didn't have one today either. I didn't have a banana for like the first time in like a week. And I almost had a cramp in my leg. Like I felt it coming and I just started stretching my leg a different way and stuff and it went away. But, um, but the whole banana thing, I don't know if it's just in my head or what, but it's like I have to have a banana every day or else I think I'm going to get a leg cramp. Um... Also something kind of newish um, is the baby's movements are getting a little bit stronger from what I can tell. They're not just like flutters anymore. It kind of feels like a really, really quick jolt or pressure like on my lower abdomen below my belly button area. But it happens so quick and fast that I'm like, oh, it's already gone. I couldn't really enjoy it. Like, it's like, was that a movement? Most likely it was, but it's just it happens so fast. So I'm hoping within the next couple weeks like it gets like more common and hopefully my husband gets to feel soon because he really really wants to feel a baby move. Um, so I have gotten a little bit bigger too and my stomach has been like stretching and it's really itchy all the time so I have been having to put more cream on lately too. Um, but other than that I mean that's pretty much that's all my symptoms that I can think of. I don't really have anything else going on um, the baby is the size of a carrot now, so it's getting really, really big. And I read in one of my books that the next three months, the baby is going to go through like a huge growth spurt. So I'm just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, cravings, I was craving shrimp. I think I mentioned that last week. I finally did get shrimp. It was great, and I'm good now. <laughs> um, and I've been wanting eggplant, so I finally got eggplant, and I've been eating it the past couple days. I love eggplant. And I still basically am craving red meat. I haven't had a hamburger in a while, and I've been wanting one of those. Um, but that's pretty much it. And as far as aversions go, I still don't really want anything to do with chicken. And I usually eat a lot of chicken tamales for work when I don't have any leftovers or, like, I don't have any time to prepare my lunch. I'll just get, like, they have frozen... Um, tamales at Costco. They're actually pretty decent. They don't have that many ingredients or anything. Um, and I usually eat them all the time, but now, like, I just, the past two times I ate it, I didn't like it. So I'm not really going to be eating those anymore. So I'm going to have to start 
finding something else for lunch, which is weird because I don't really do sandwiches very good because of the gluten-free bread type thing. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do other than leftovers. I did try to do a salad, but the dressing I like is oil and vinegar. I make my own and it gives me heartburn. And I had heartburn the other day while working for the first time and that was really annoying. So I do need to figure out what I'm going to do for lunches other than leftovers and stuff. So yeah, I need to figure that out. Um, things that are new is we did... I mean, we already have the color picked out, but I'll let you guys know. The color that we ended up choosing was number two um, from last week's video. So if you haven't seen that, you can go back last week and see. Um, but basically, it's like the medium gray was like light gray, and then like a medium, and then like a darker browner gray. We ended up going with the medium gray because my house already... I mean, I don't know if you can tell from the background, but it's like a light gray already. So we wanted to have something more like saturated and rich, especially with the contrast with the white. I think it would look nice. So we're going to do that, but we're having a guest, I think, come up in the next couple weeks. So before we paint, we're, we're going to wait until after he comes, and then we'll start painting and stuff. Because um, as of right now, the bed is still in there. We're going to take down the bed and all of that and start getting things ready. <laughs> um, our deck is done as of today, mostly. I, we did run out of screws, so there's just a few boards we still have to screw down, but like the cuts and everything is all made, and it looks great, except the sun has really already kind of bleached it, so we are going to stain it one or two more times um, before we call it completely done, but it looks great. I'm so happy with the results, and I'm so glad that we did it and we had help doing it and we didn't have to hire anybody so that's been amazing I can't wait to enjoy it but it's been pretty warm here it's been like 86 which is warm for here <laughs> I'm used to very cold weather so it's different and then now that I'm pregnant I'm actually more hot than usual or at least I feel like it so that's been different um, since I've been getting bigger I've had a little bit of like body image issues I'm starting to try to accept my new shape a little bit more but I did notice um, I walked today and yesterday which is more like a hike than a walk where I live there's lots of hills and it's about a mile it takes me 15 to 20 minutes to walk it briskly and um, I noticed like my thighs <laughs> definitely shake before they never really did that so that's new and of course it's exhausting and it's hard or whatever, but um, I just feel, I can just feel heavier. I just feel heavy. I feel it when I walk and when I move and stuff, and I'm always out of breath, so like I'm just trying to accept all of that. Um, and I know that everybody carries babies differently and stuff, but I think I've gained 16 pounds since the last time I talked to you guys. I haven't weighed myself recently. It's probably still in that range. But, um, I don't know, it's still hard to see the scale go up. I know it's healthy and all of that, but it's still, I'm trying to accept it. I'm doing better with it now, I'm starting to get used to it, but it's like, I feel like overnight I feel like I got big. It's weird. <laughs> um, oh, and I got a new necklace I can show you guys. It's um, a charm necklace, I think it's from like Owl something. Oh, I don't remember now. It's like Owl Charm. I don't remember. But I don't know if you guys can see. This is a little D for Darren. And then, oh, I have to flip it. This is a little um, dandelion. So, like, you know, you blow it and make a wish. And then this says, wishes come true. So it's a cute little charm necklace that I got mainly just um, my friend had one and I always wanted one and then I decided I was just gonna go ahead and get one and just to remember the whole process and the baby and Darren and I don't wear necklaces a lot so when I feel it touch my skin it reminds me oh baby I don't know it's just really cute and you can add charms so I don't think we're ever going to have any more kids, but if I did or if I wanted to put like Josh on here, I can just add whatever charms I wanted, so that's really cool. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go and start planning the baby shower. We already, I think, have a date set. We're pretty much looking at September 19th. I will be, I believe I will be 34 weeks 
pregnant at that point so I thought that was a good time and it'll be nice and cool up on the mountain so we'll have we'll be able to use the deck and stuff um, and I think that that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my bump and then that will conclude our little 21 week update <laughs> And, um, let's see, I'm running out of clothes to wear since it's so hot, I didn't realize I should have got more, like, tank tops. Like, we're running out of stuff here. So this is my 21 wing bump. And I still have, like, almost like a double bump. It's not like a solid one, like one line there's like a bump and it kind of like goes in and then another bump my stomach has always been like that I was hoping when I got pregnant it would go away but it just won't go away it's like my waist is still wanting to be there I'm like go away just be one solid bump but um yeah that's my bump and thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions or anything you know you can just put them in the comments below and I'm usually good at getting back to you guys bye